Stay with Engadget. I'm here with a certain Lenovo ThinkPad tablet. It has not been released to the public yet. It doesn't even have an official name. This will not go on the market until Windows 8 drops sometime this year, likely in the fall. And I just want to give you a quick look at the hardware because actually what's really interesting about this is the fact that I can't remember a time when Lenovo did even a Windows 7 slate. So it's not just that Windows 8 is a really huge theme here at Computex. It's the fact that I can't remember the last time I saw a Windows 7 tablet at all from Lenovo. So here we are. Um, being a ThinkPad branded product, it has the general aesthetic of a ThinkPad product. So it has the same soft touch, black finish, really resistant to scratches and fingerprints that you would find on a ThinkPad laptop. Complete with the usual Lenovo and ThinkPad branding that you're used to. Being a tablet, it has a pair of cameras. This is supposed to be a 2 megapixel camera. Um, excuse me, 8 megapixel camera with the 2 megapixel one up front. And this is a 10 inch screen here. And um, as you'd expect, it's a 1366 by 768 resolution. So standard resolution, same as um, you would find on um, many Windows 8 devices on the laptop side as well. Um, you can see here it's, it's a very bright screen. It's definitely sufficient um, in this um, trade show environment here. And I'm going to just give you a quick tour of the device here. So, volume rocker and headphone port on this side. Got the power button here. If I lift that off here, you're going to see an SD slot and also um, it looks like a SIM tray. And keep in mind this is um, not a final design, so this might not be what you see um, going forward. And you've got a docking connector suggesting uh, peripherals are coming, like external docks, and micro HDMI. Now, we can't tell you too much about specs. Lenovo is really keeping a lot of that under wraps right now, but give you a hint, we're at Intel's booth right now, actually, not Lenovo's. So there is an unnamed or unspecified Clover Trail processor inside. So that's, that's pretty much Intel Atom. And that's all we can tell you for now, but we're definitely going to be back with more details between now and when this formally launches.